Hey everyone, so today I'm back with another graduation lay tutorial to share with you guys. So this pattern is pretty much going to be the same exact one as the last one, but this time I will be using three different colors. And I'm also going to show you a few color combos that you can try out um, while making this lay. So first things first, of course, are your choice of ribbon. You could go with any colors. I'm actually going with the school colors of the graduates. So um, there's red, white, and black. And you wanna keep this in mind to pick two of the same colors and you could go with whatever you'd like. The ribbon that I'm using is from Michaels. It's from the brand Celebrated. And for those of you who are curious about the size, it's 3 8 of an inch by 10 yards. It is 100% polyester and you want to keep this in mind um, when you're choosing out your ribbon. Kind of feel the texture of the ribbon because um, I've tried 100% polyester before and the ribbon was a little bit rough. So this one has like that satin feel to it so that's the one that you want to go with if you want a softer lay otherwise the um, other type of polyester material is kind of rough and it won't be as comfortable so just a little tip and the next thing you'll need of course is a lighter this is basically used just to clean off the edges of the lay when you're done and of course if you're underage definitely get your parents permission before you use this and last but not least of course is a pair of good cutting scissors so before i make the actual lay i just want to show you again like i mentioned earlier a few ways to switch up the color combos because it will look different um, depending on the order of your lay so i'm going to start off with these two which are the main colors and you want to put them at the end with the middle colors you can choose whatever order you want them to be so here's a close-up of the color combo if you were to have both of the same colors on each end so I'm gonna take this apart and then show you guys another one so the next color combo I'm going to use these two as the outside color here's this pattern if you were to switch up the colors that way so the third pattern I alternated the two same colors one on the outside, one in the middle, and then the other two colors. So here's the other color combo you can go with as well. So those are just a few ways to um, kind of mix up your colors so um, the lay looks a little bit different. So hopefully this helps, but of course you can do whatever you would like, whatever pattern or color combo you would like. So the color combo I'm gonna go with is the two same colors on the end and then red and white. First things first is just to combine all of the ribbons, just line them up all together. And make sure that they're all facing the same way so it's easy for them to just slide right out. So next you're just gonna take, or make a knot, sorry. Just eyeball. Again, just enough for the end of the lay, so, or to tie the end of the lay. So that should be good enough. Make sure it's really tight. And then you want to take and make sure your two colors on the outside are on top. So again, we're just gonna make two loops, like so, and just place one to the other like that. And then you wanna tighten this part right here. You wanna make sure you hold on to this part really tight because this is what basically forms the lay and you don't want it to be too loose, so then Next, you're just gonna go ahead and make another loop. Just take both ribbons and place into the right loop. And make sure you're going underneath both ribbons and then you want to pull. And you will get a loose part right here. All you have to do is just tug on the back and it tighten and tightens it up. So you have that and make sure this part is tight as well. And then make another loop and just put that through and then pull and adjust. Make sure these are tight. Okay, 
Okay, so you just want to repeat the same steps over until your lay is the desired length you want it to be. And this one I'm not going to close at the end. So I'm just going to go with the flow and see how much or how long I want it to be. So same thing, I'll do it a few more times. Again, one more time, just make a loop, put it into the other one, and pull and adjust so it's tight. One more time. So as you can see, it's pretty tight. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'll either come back um, halfway through or when I'm done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've reached the desired length that I want uh, for the lay. So I measured about four and a half feet, but you could make it as long or as short as you want. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the excess ribbon here and just cut enough for the ends to tie. So you could just eyeball that. So maybe about this much. And then we're just going to close it off just by putting this through. And just tightening it up like so. So, okay, and I'm also going to cut off this part here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot. Get it as close as you can to the edge like that. So this one gives you like a tassel kind of look to it. And then this one we're going to go ahead and take apart. Just kind of tighten it up. And then we're going to make a knot. So I think I'm just going to trim just a tad at the ends. So I'll take two at a time, and just cut at diagonal directions. So there you have it guys, the three color ribbon lay. Super, super easy. Definitely switch up the color combos to however you would like. Um, I forgot to show you guys the back part as well because you could also wear it this way too. So um, if you don't want this side, you could always flip it over and go with the solid color where a few of the other colors like kind of pop. So if you can see, but you know, it depends on the color gown as well of the graduates. So obviously if it's black, it won't show, but yeah. So that's just another way you can wear it as well. But I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions or anything like that, always feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.